Hey guys, uh, this is our first tutorial of MVC, which stands for Model View Controller, and uh, it's a way to separate your code into different compartments. Like uh, there's some code that deals with the presentation of the layer, which will be called View, and some data. Uh, sorry, some code that will uh, do the transaction between database. It will write to database or read. Uh, read from the database that will be done inside model and the controller is just a middleman that that gets data from model and presents that data inside views so this is just an int introduction there are quite a few mm, frameworks out there for PHP that you can use for this uh, most notable will be code igniter and I think and also uh, follow this paradigm of writing code so let's start off by discussing controller and view. we will create I have these three files for this story we will deal with these two files controller and view and just close model so if we look at into view you will see that I just have markup uh, HTML page which doesn't have anything just to mark them there's no data inside where uh, these tags so what in, uh, you will do in MVC you will uh, you will define placeholders so for title you can define a placeholder for title which will be PHP variables so we can do PHP echo title and this will echo out the content inside title and for now the title is a placeholder and if your uh, PHP installation supports short tag uh, this option should be enabled inside your PHP configuration file and uh, mostly it is not so it's better to use a standard way of writing this but in case it's a, your installation supports short tags you can just write it like this you put equal to symbol and just write the name of the variable so for h1 we will write heading and for para we will write para all right so now we have three placeholders title heading and para which are PHP variables inside our view. This is just like an like a template without the data. You for data you just write placeholders. Now inside our controller, controller as I've told you is the middleman that will populate the placeholders inside view with the data. The data can be um, uh, like collected through model. Model is a bit advanced, so we'll talk about it in the next tutorial. But uh, it can the data can come from model and it will be presented inside view through controller so controller is our main man it is a middleman but it is the main man it will handle the uh, http requests so in it we have three variables title like title of my application and these three variables will simply uh, like uh, contain the data for every placeholder inside our view so title will go like that and heading let's say MVC model view controller and para will be equal to like this is a way to separate your data I'm oh, sorry code so now we can just simply call our view and the placeholders will be replaced with the data so if I go to our uh, script so I, as I've told you controller.php will be called you won't call view or the model you will call controller because that's our main man main script so if I refresh this you will see the data will be presented inside uh, the placeholders which were empty just a while ago you have seen the page so <laughs> this is what MVC will do and uh, to uh, to make this more readable because you are kind of passing every variables that will be defined in scope like there's some other variable count and this will also be passed through uh, to our view it's better to write a function which will does uh, which will do it for us so we can write function like include view and in it we will pass in the view file and also uh, an array 
and uh, this this uh, this way it's more readable and it's more the variables that you are passing will be the only variables that will be presented to view to populate the um, like the placeholders so you can use extract here to extract the variable variables uh, from the array extract will like provide all the indexes inside the array as variables to the scoop so in here our scoop is this function so in this function we can call now our view and all the variables that will pass to our will be presented to our view so in here we can call this function include sorry include view and we will pass the file which is view.php and we will pass uh, we will also pass the array and inside the array we will simply pass the placeholders so title will go like this title and heading we are also passing the heading heading and para para so save it and if i go back and refresh the same thing will happen but now your code is a bit clean and the variables that you meant to pass to the view are passed and uh, to uh, like save some RAM you can simply pass the values here instead of variables and you can do it like this you are passing the references to these variables refresh and oh my god now we are on the same page and the same thing will happen we are just passing the references now so this is an introduction to MVC we dealt with uh, controller and view and we created a function that will handle our views and in the next story we will talk about models that will handle our transactions with MySQL database or any kind of database model handles with your data alright so thank you for watching keep watching to get an idea how to use views in MEC frameworks or you can just write your own small kind of framework for MEC so keep watching thank you guys